hello hi there thank you so much for clicking on my video and welcome or welcome back to my channel so happy to have you here thank you so much for trusting in what i have to say um so you want to have a spiritual awakening huh i love this for you honestly let's just get right into it the first step to your spiritual awakening is right now okay this video you're curious you're wanting to know more you're wanting to expand just the intention of that will allow your spiritual awakening to come in my opinion i feel like everything is happening in divine timing so it's probably your time to receive this wisdom it's your time to expand everything you know okay because that's literally how it feels like when you first have your spiritual awakening you're open up to a whole new world that you have never seen before okay so um i'm sorry if i'm sweating i guess it's a little hot let me open a window okay so yeah like i said number one is just to have the intention of you know wanting to have a spiritual awakening and number two i mean they kind of go hand in hand i'm sorry this light i just wanted to look up my notes on my ipad but Number two is doing your research, obviously. You know, you never want to dive deep into something or get into something if you feel like it's not for you. You know, in my opinion, I think spirituality um, or living a spiritual life is just a way of living life. In, in my opinion, I feel like this world is just a spiritual world. It's just, you know, when you're trapped in the material world for so long, you know, or just so focused on this material world, you kind of forget that or you don't, you're not able to see it. But in my opinion, I want to say mostly all of this is just spiritual. You know, this is just a physical version of reality. There are many different versions of reality that is other than physical. So I feel like it's not I feel like, you know, a lot of people have a hard time understanding that. Um, the best way to put it is think about you're on planet Earth right now, right? It's this little speck in the sky and surrounding that is like this huge space, like just space. You're going to tell me that nothing is taking up that space. OK, everything is energy and like even the air around the room that you're in right now, that is energy. That is like a consciousness. Everything is energy and everything is consciousness and everything is alive especially you know because it comes from this earth it's 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 deep it's deep but just know there's so much more okay like this is very it's like you're just at the top okay it goes deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper okay so just remember that and just um brace yourself okay it's a whole new world it's a whole new world when um you prioritize your spirituality and especially become awakened okay so yeah that's what i wrote um uh, the next step would just be to recognize that there is so much more than this physical plane. They even say, and I fully believe this, that your thoughts are real. Like they're actually real places and real realities. And same with like your dreams. They are really taking place in another reality. It's just not this one. Okay. And I believe anything that you can think can exist on, um, you know, depending on what dimension you're in or what's going on, you know? So that's just my opinion, okay? I'm not trying to sound too woo-woo, but hey, I mean, what can I do? <laughs> I'm already deep, so it is what it is. If you get it, you get it, okay? Um, keep up. Sore. So this is like the real first step. Like this is like us actually getting into ourselves, okay? First step, get really grounded with yourself, okay? And start being really present. Like, don't just let life pass you by. Start getting really in your present moment and get and feel like what it's like to be in your body. Feels what it as it feels. <laughs> feel what it's like to just be. Okay, I feel like that is um. Think about like a Buddhist monk. They spend hours meditating. Okay, and every one of them is on a path to enlightenment, which is um God realization or a state of bliss ego death there's a lot of um terms for it but it's basically when you're returning back to source okay back to god energy um and that's what they say is your purest self that's like where you came from okay so um get real grounded and just feel what it's like to be you okay feel what it's like to be in your body to have the life you have and start 
engaging more in your present moment, okay? Small step, but important, okay? There are several ways to ground as well. Um, so walking, maybe just sitting and just being alone with your thoughts, meditating. Meditating is the number one way to have a spiritual awakening, in my opinion. Um, it is literally it's because you're literally shutting off this outside world. You know, if you were to close your eyes right now, all of this is gone. Okay. You're just with yourself. And when you're one with yourself, you can realize your truth. Okay. That's it. You can realize your truth. And especially when you're doing specific meditations, like maybe like a third eye meditation or your chakra. The first meditation I ever did was my chakra, was a chakra um, balancing meditation. And that meditation completely changed my life. And the first time I did it, I realized I was like 18. That's when I had my spiritual awakening back in 2020. Um, I realized I was doing a disservice to myself my entire life by not meditating. Uh, that was that was like it was a knowing. And I, I cried a lot after my meditation. And when you first start to meditate, like seriously, you will cry because you'll have so much you need to release. It, it'll be crazy. Like you'll have so much that you need to release that you didn't even realize let me get a fan. Like, why am I sweating like this? What's going on? I'm so sorry, but that is like so much better. Anyways, so um, I don't even know what I was saying. Wow. Oops. <laughs> Meditation. Best thing you could ever do to it for yourself. And one of the quickest ways to awaken and to realize like your truth, 100%. Um, so yeah, we'll get, we'll get into it. I'm not trying to get too ahead of myself because you know, there was a certain, I put these steps in a certain order for a reason. So, um, the next thing I said was to, obviously I was saying, feel into your body. So connect with your body, exercising, yoga, um, Tai Chi. I just tried Tai Chi for the first time today and it was just so my vibe. I loved it. Um, dancing, like even just dancing, a mind body connection. Pilates is really good because you have to go like slow, um, but any anything to where you're moving your body is really good. So you can just get in there, okay? And like get grounded and in, in like develop a connection with yourself. That's number one, in my opinion, to living your best spiritual life is to have a self-love connection with yourself and putting yourself first and realizing, you know, how important you are, okay? Um, so the next one, I recommend just because you're just now getting into all this and who knows what you're going to, you know, awaken to or what you're going to see or what's going to happen. So next step I said was just to cleanse yourself. Okay. Um, like I said, just because you're just now getting into all this now, I doubt that you've, I don't know you, I don't know what your story is, but I doubt that you've really cleansed like spiritually before so um unless you're like maybe religious I don't know I know I didn't ever do it until I got into all this stuff but um I recommend getting like some type of palo santo or like sage or there's like frankincense if you're like an incense type of person there's frankincense and like dragons but there's so many you can just look up like how can i spiritually cleanse you can get some cold water and wash it over yourself cold water is very cleansing you can imagine that there's just white light showering you and protecting you you know it's always good to be protected when you're going into unknown spaces like your own mind okay <laughs> it'll make you feel a lot better and it'll also get rid of any negative energy that you're holding okay um it's just good to start off with a clean slate maybe some any gunk that's just gone gotten on your soul you can get that nice and cleared. And I recommend starting to make that a daily practice. That'll also be really good with just you starting to be more intentional. You know, it's like being more present, being more intentional. Like this is really just about like getting into this reality more, but also like getting out of it. I don't know. It's like weird. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> like getting more in touch with this experience, like the real experience, not like, oh, I'm just here to work, sleep, eat, and die. Like, no, like we're actually living our best, like making the most of every single moment, okay? And being intentional and not holding on to anything negative. I mean, I think that's just great for anybody, no matter who you are. The next one is optional. And I'm only, I, I didn't do it until literally this year, but Reiki has changed my life, okay? Reiki is just something else. I don't know if I'm getting too deep or not. I don't know. You might have to let me know. But 
if you're willing, if you're open, I recommend Reiki. Okay. Um, a lot of us have a lot of healing that we need to do. A lot of us maybe need that help, you know, from other beings. And, uh, for example, my, my, um, auntie has a friend that ever since they became friends, the, her friend is just like a completely different person. Okay. And something that she did because her friend like was going through a lot. She was like having a lot of issues and emotionally not at her best. My aunt got her like 10 Reiki sessions. And this girl is a whole new person, literally a whole new person. Like her light has just completely, is completely shining. She's like, has so much energy. My aunt was like, she's like, my aunt is like in, okay. We have to, I have to get her on my channel. But um, she was able to like see her aura and stuff. It was just crazy, okay. So it's like, this is like no joke, okay. Like everything's energy. And I wasn't kidding when I said that. Everything's energy. Everything's vibration. And it's no joke, okay. So just know energy healing is, 100% real, 100%, especially when you're willing to accept that and receive it. You know, that's just my truth. Your truth might be different, but I'm just saying, I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. So that might be something you want to look into. The type of Reiki is up to you. What do you need? What's, what healing does your soul have to do? All right, next one, which is a must, is meditation. Candace, I don't know how to meditate. I don't even want to meditate. Meditating is boring. Like, why am I going to want to just sit there and be alone with my thoughts? That's going to have to be um, something that you have to research, okay? I actually didn't really know how to meditate for years. I know that sounds insane. I was meditating for years and I didn't really actually know how to do it or what I was doing. I was just, um, I didn't realize that when you meditate, you're supposed to be still and supposed to like make your mind still i would just meditate and be thinking every thought and i wasn't even paying attention or focusing so <laughs> i recommend doing your research looking at how to meditate and then finding a meditate meditation that you want to do so um to start off maybe uh, you can do a spiritual awakening meditation okay maybe you can do like a self-realization meditation um and then get into like your chakras third eye meditation you want to unlock some stuff for real yeah, I get that third eye open. That's a whole different video. I don't know if I want to get into it, but that can definitely be a part of a spiritual awakening, having that third eye open, because when that thing is open, you see a lot more, okay? You feel a lot more and you sense a lot more. That's all I got to say. So um, whatever, I mean, healing meditation, there's like an inner child meditation. It's so many, every type of meditation, meditation for abundance, okay? We're, we're here to manifest. We're here to get every single thing we want. Um, med manifestation meditation, it's just crazy. And I recommend starting off with guided meditations. And the deeper you get, I recommend meditating to frequencies, you know, or sleeping to frequencies. That's a really good way to unlock your mind and allow your mind to um, just resonate with those frequencies. Okay. Um, and then eventually like the monks do it, you're just meditating the silence and this is the goal. Okay. The goal is to get to a point where you can make your mind so present and so, um, like centered, you know, cleared blissful state. That is, that's, that's uh getting real deep, okay? That's how you can really get into some stuff. Um, but we're not that deep yet, okay? We're just beginning. So I'm not trying to get too ahead. <laughs> Even me, like I said, I've been in this, I'm four years deep and I'm still, you know, I'm still learning every single day. So yeah, it's, you have time and um, take it one day at a time too. Don't rush anything. Don't force anything. Okay. Everything you will receive messages when you're meant to receive messages. You will see things when you're meant to see things. Okay. hundred percent. And when you do just for the people that like might, you know, have undone their third eye and like are really starting to like see things, you might think you're crazy. Like you really might think you're insane and you might start to talk to other people about it and they might think you're insane. Just know you're not just know you're not. I literally, um, when I did open my third eye, I, um, closed it. <laughs> I opened the thing and then I closed it right back up because I was getting way too distracted by seeing energies and hearing things. Imagine going to sleep and you're just able to hear someone's entire conversation. It's extremely distracting and it makes you think that you're absolutely insane. Okay. These are just two examples, but I'm just saying that's the type of time that this is on. Okay. When you're, when you're in, okay. Okay, next one. 
the deeper you're getting into this journey, I want you to pay attention. Like I said, this goes along with being present, but pay attention to any divine messages that you're receiving. So repeating numbers, maybe, you know, you were thinking about someone and then they popped up or like they texted you, you know, like any like coincidences, even though nothing is a coincidence, any coincidences that start happening in your life, make note of them. Literally, I want you to write them down so you can see how this thing is progressing. You can see, you know, that you're literally not crazy and that stuff is starting to really align. Okay. Um, even just like you calling things in and then you're it's showing up in your life, anything. Okay. Write it down. Also just paying attention to energy, you know, p- try to pick up on other people's energy more, you know, um, or like the energy of a room, the energy of an environment, the energy of a city. Okay. Pick up on this just so you can be more aware and knowing, you know, what's going on. Okay. And not being ignorant to it. Next thing I said was to journal and write down all you see. That's kind of what I was just saying to just write everything down, but also journaling, like, um, building that connection with yourself. Okay. Writing down maybe like a diary. I have a, um, app. I, I can't believe I'm promoting it right now. Why is I hate this? Like what's going on? This app called, um, day one. Okay. Changed my life. Day one changed my life. I love you. Day one. Okay. Free freaking promo promo. I love you. Day one. Um, it's like an app where you can write every, like, it's like a whole diary app. You can lock it. Like you can, it's, no one it's just your own little space you can make video diaries i think it's like if you get the premium but the premium is like three bucks a month and like 30 bucks a year it's so worth it just buy it um where you can do like video diaries you can do voice recordings i have like so many different types of journals like my dream journal um when meaningful things happen to me um anything i've learned about like spirituality it's like amazing 10 out of 10 recommend but start like just writing down like your thoughts and writing down your experiences and you know things that you want to call in maybe even doing like shadow work um maybe even just like looking up regular journal prompts and just writing those like getting to know yourself more that is a really good way to um spiritually advance in my opinion because you're you're it's like that it goes back to self-care and improving yourself and improving that connection with yourself okay and it's nice to write down you know especially when you are awakening it's nice to write all this stuff down and have a place to put it and be like oh my god this happened like i saw this or i experienced this or blah blah blah. like it's really nice to have a space for all that that you can go back to and look at so 10 out of 10 recommend and also i want to say start writing down your dreams okay because lucid dreaming I want to say it goes hand in hand. Okay. I want to say it goes hand in hand with this because like I said, I believe dreams are literally just a whole different world, but, um, and we can, we have a whole video just on dreams. I have the craziest dream stories, like fourth wall type. Okay. Lucid dreams. Like I'm asking the people in my dreams, what are you doing here? Do you know my name? Like I can really get deep into it but start writing down your dreams okay especially the ones that are like significant and look for messages in your dreams and then when you in my opinion i want to say the best way to get into lucid dreaming like which you know it's it's if you don't know what it is it's knowing that you're dreaming like you're in your own world in your dream it's freaking cool but um the way I was able to start doing it was writing down my dreams. So I did, I would write down my dreams. And then when you're in a dream, you'll recognize that it's a dream and then you'll become present. It's like a whole thing, but we can get into it. We can, we can, we can really get into it. Let me know. Um, okay. So yeah, do that and stay consistent, stay consistent with this process. Consistency is everything. And that's the only reason why I'm here today. I meditated every single day. I did, um, chakra healing every week because your chakras do get out of balance. It's like a whole thing. I mean, they say like chakras are really just like a metaphor, but you know, whatever you believe is, is the truth. So it's up to you and what you think or what you know is best for you. Honestly, this is just my advice, but do, if you were like taught different or you've seen different or someone has told you different, by all means, if you resonate with that more, everyone's path is completely different. I'm just telling you everything that I've done and what I think in my opinion will get you there. That that's all. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, consistency is key no matter what you're doing. Okay. So I know we're getting to the end of the video. I'm sorry. The video is a little long, but this is, a, I can't shorten this. I'm sorry. Um, how you know that you have been awakened. In my opinion, I want to say you'll know, you'll, you'll see a difference. Like the world would be a lot different. 
you'll sense a lot of things, you'll see more things, you'll receive more messages from the universe. You might even be able to pick up more on things like psychic wise, you'll be able to pick up more. You might be able like, oh, when I had my spiritual awakening, I would always, I could always feel when a boy was coming into my life. I could feel it. I could physically feel like a boy is going to come into my life and we're going to start talking. It's going to be like a whole thing. Oh, that happened to me twice. One of them was a guy that completely ruined my life. And then the next one was who I thought was the love of my life. Um, so you'll, you'll feel like when certain, like kind of, you'll become a little psychic. Okay. Like I said, you might start hearing some things when you're going to bed, like conversations or, you know, maybe like someone, one of your ancestors, like a your spirit guide will like come to you, you know? And um, that's another thing. That's why I said like, it's really good to cleanse because when you are opened up to this new world, you are vulnerable to dark spirits and dark energy. I mean, life is polarity, world is polarity. When there's light, there's dark and vice versa. So just, you know, remember when you are opening yourself up to all this, it's so important to stay cleansed because you can be more receptive to those darker energies, especially depending on the type of person you are, okay? Um, so just remember that. I don't want you to be hearing like demons in your head or, you know, but <laughs> for the most part, I feel like you'll know and you'll be able to sense and pick on if something is right or it's wrong. You know, I think you'll be able to feel into that more and your intuition will definitely raise, okay, that gut feeling part of you. Oh, that will be on 10. You'll definitely be a lot more open minded, you know, 100%. You realize the world is not at all what it seems and it might, um, make you want to try new things or have new experiences, whatever you feel called to do. But, you know, just saying it will, it will definitely open in your mind and expand you. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, you'll definitely start seeing things that other people cannot see. And, you know, sometimes you just have to pretend like you're not seeing it, you know, <laughs> to fit in and be normal, but it is what it is. That's just, that's just true. You'll start. I remember I, um, I saw a ghost, okay, back in 2020. I was just in my neighborhood. And I, it's like when you are aware of these things, it, it's not like it will show itself to you, but you'll be able to tap into that realm. So I saw a ghost. It was running around this house back and forth. It was literally jogging and it was this white soul just running back and forth. It was crazy, okay? Um, but that's just one example. And like I said, I don't want to make this too long, but I can get into it. I can go deep. Like I really can like on every single thing I've experienced, everything I've seen, everything that I have awakened to just know. I mean, I'm saying all this for a reason. All of this exists and it just is what it is. Okay. This world is so cool, but there's so much to this world that's hard to conceptualize. And there's so much of this world that we didn't even know we should know about, you know, or we didn't even realize existed. So I'm excited for you. Have no fear. As long as you're with love and light and you call that in and that is your intention, everything will be fine. Okay. <laughs> everything will be fine. Just know everyone has a different journey. Follow what's right for you. And um, I really hope that this was helpful to you in some way. And I wish you the best. Okay. Honestly, I wish you the best. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.